There was an idea. A decade ago, there wasn't an idea. I'm on a Back in 2008, Iron Man had just come out. I was a little kid, and my parents, along with a friend of mine, Aishri, took me to this theater to see the movie. And it was a great movie. It was a superhero movie. We love superhero movies. <laughs> There's no franchise, no sequels or anything like that. We, we just sat and enjoyed a really fucking amazing Iron Man movie. And possibly the biggest thing was as soon as the credits started to roll, we left. Fast forward a couple months. And Kid Jason reads in the newspapers that they're making a Captain America movie and a Thor movie, and they're even going to make... I'm here to talk to you about the Avenger Initiative. And I lose my fucking mind. The thing is, these weren't just regular sequels. I don't like sand. Because this was, these were based on comics, and they had a backstory, there was like previous lore and, and information, it almost created like a game of... What's going to happen? For now, I'll, I'll settle for this you know, sweet little, uh, you know, who's going to get him first? You, 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 you see the Adam Warlock reveal and you're like, oh shit, they're doing Adam Warlock. In Iron Man 2, you see Captain America's shield. You wait till the end of Avengers and you see that it's actually Thanos pulling the strings and holy shit, it's going to do, in, they're going to do Infinity War. It becomes a playground for ideas and, and just theories and, and, and rumors and everything. And that's what's made the past 10 years of Marvel movies have an extra... Wow. Which brings us to Infinity War. After a decade of all that, we've reached this point in the game. And now, I'm gonna play the game. So massive potential spoiler alert. I don't know, they're just things that I think might happen. If you don't want anything potentially ruined for you, I'll, I'll, I'll post a time where you can jump to. And here we go. There was an idea. Based off the trailers and stuff, people are already speculating that like Captain America will die and maybe Iron Man will die. If you think Thanos after all these movies is just gonna kill two Avengers at most, you're fucking wrong. Thanos is gonna kill everybody. Captain America, yeah. Iron Man, gone. But more than that, Spider-Man, Iron Man's like de facto like kid type of situation gone vision's gonna fucking have his brain removed in the comics thanos makes hulk his fucking pet and like has him on a chain so so he's out i'm predicting that almost every single avenger hero will be killed we will actually see him kill almost every single avenger and we'll know that he's just not a dude who sits in a chair who will survive I think Nick Fury might survive. I think Hawkeye might survive. I think Doctor Strange might survive. But the number one person who I think will survive is Ant-Man. I'm predicting in the fourth Avengers movie, Ant-Man along with maybe like Doctor Strange or somebody will go on a massive time travel mission to the past where they will not only get Captain Marvel, but they will also go all through the, the decade long of MCU films and adjust little things here and there to prevent Thanos from eventually getting the Infinity Stones. Because in Infinity War, Thanos is gonna win. So the fourth Avengers movie will be all about going back in time and preventing that from happening. At the end of the day, I'm just excited to finally see this movie. And yes, it's kind of crazy to get all hyped up about a movie, but why the fuck not? So yeah, I hope everybody has a great Infinity War week or weekend or whatever. Not really sure how to end this video. I'm not even really sure why I'm filming this in the back of my car.